Miss Jenkins gonna be mad you taking her pears out. <laughs> when you uh, when was this uh, when was this planted? We planted this in um, uh, 2014. Mm. Me and uh, me and John Lewis. Much respect, R.I.P. Hey, can you pickle pears? I guess you could pickle anything. Yeah. Only thing that's that's over here that's that's worrisome is that there's so many pears that are like riding on the vine. Yeah. There's like wasps. Yeah. Like if I see a wasp, I'm like, yo, move on to another area. There's probably more where that came from. Oh, the they yeah. They don't they don't go solo. You could probably fill up this joint with uh, that burlap sack with him. I know, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to tell people, man, like, this shit right here is real, man. It's not a fucking game. Like, we got food to lower. We just had to fucking put in the work. And this is not GMO, you know? You don't have a bunch of chemists, like, trying to... <laughs> You're going to see a little uh, uh, barcode on them. Fresh. Yeah. Shit. Right <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they they are in tow. You guys see them? Let me go over here somewhere. Else. Uh huh. I'm trying to activate the horde. Mm mm. Oh yeah, they are all over the place. But it's enough pairs that I can just, I can still get what I need. Yeah. And get around them and not have to worry about activating the raft. Circle of life. <laughs> They fighting each other. No, that they're, they're two different ones fighting each other. Hey. Bloods and Crips. <laughs> and this is for the market? Yeah. Actually, you know what, as a lady that owns a um a, uh uh Winery in uh, Fredericksburg, black owned winery. Mm -hmm. She hit me up and was like, Yo, let me get like 40 pounds. So I was like, Work. So the thing is with the, uh, with the wineries, mm -hmm. they got to cop they, they got to cop the um, ingredients from Virginia. So that's an excellent way to, yeah. to uh, do business. All right, think about it. Like, if she's making wines, she got to get all her fruit, the grapes, the apples, yeah. the pears, the peaches, whatever she's using to make the wine, she got to get that shit from Virginia. So, she needs shit that's close. Yeah. Okay. So my thing is like, yo, we can, we can get, we can get you. This is just two trees. Yeah. Imagine us doing this and having like 10, 20 trees. Mm. How are you going to get to the ones on the top? I got to get a, um, a, a ladder. Yeah. And a, um, a, a claw, like a little fork. Oh, okay. A ladder and a, like a pooper scooper thing, like, not a pooper scooper thing, but something with, that you can use it to grab it. Right. Yeah. Um, peaches, uh, the pears are so uh, heavy that it's pulling down the branches. 
That's a good thing. Look at that. That's like 10 minutes. Mm. So, you know, the energy to me is like, yeah, you know, we can do this shit. It ain't, it ain't a, um, it ain't a question about whether or not we can do it. It's a question of whether or not people are gonna show up. You know what I'm saying? And get into it. Yeah. Because you know, like this is hard work, but the hardest work has already been done. The hardest work is playing the tree. Well, you know what, they they say that with cooking, you know what I mean, like, getting the items uh, is, is harder work than actually cooking them. Like most of, you know, most of the work is done by the stove. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least the rain kind of pulls them away. Yeah, I came out here the other day. And they were deep. Mm. And I was like, yo, I just harvested those two bags that I had. And then I dipped off. I didn't want to really fuck with it. No. You better come wearing riot gear. At least long sleeve shirts. Now they'll go through the shirt. Imagine if we were making like peach wine mm -hmm. or like and like that. This is the type of fucking production that we want. Or peach preserves. Yeah. Peach butter. Yeah, because they got apple butter. <laughs> It's, it's never ending. <laughs> Bruh. So the market is uh, 4.30 to 6? Yeah, every Thursday. It's a pickup for... Uh, the uh, Black Farmer CSA. Oh, okay. So people can get uh, an assorted box of fresh fruits from grown by Black farmers from across the region. Mm. And uh, so my goal is to get as many people in the hood growing shit so we can cop directly from people right in the community. Yeah. Versus having to go all the way out to an outsourcing. Yeah, and outsourcing. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta ride to Surrey. I mean, I, I will, but I'm saying like I shouldn't have to go that far because like that's an hour and a half away. There's people that this none of the space and opportunity right here in the city. Like I said, this is just two trees. Imagine if. You, you just, know, I think you just, it, what, inside of 15 minutes, about 20 pounds, 20, 25? I don't know, that feel like more. Yeah. I'm gonna try to fill this bag at least halfway. Shit. Because, oh girl. The yeah. Does she come and pick him up or do you deliver it? I I, I got to check with her. I th I told her to come. Yeah. And pick him up, but I haven't heard back from her. So I'm gonna just harvest them, put them in the refrigerator, and wait for us to work that logistics out. Okay. But I'd rather her come pick him up. I ain't trying to ride all these. Yeah. But I'm gonna give her a good price point. I told her I'd give it to her for two dollars a pound. That ain't bad at all. You go to the store, it's like two fifty mm -hmm. at least. And these are red anjou pears. 
which are like, you know. Sounds snobby. Yeah, Asian, <laughs> Asian variety. Yeah. So it's unique, you know what I mean? It's not always available. Ah. Like the, it's like Red Anjou, Shinshuri, Shinshaki, Bartlett. Yeah, Bartlett, I heard those. Those are the like main ones. But um, for, the, for growing, as far as my experience has been, the Asian pears do best growing in um, Virginia, in the city. Yeah. You know, because they don't, they don't get attacked by the um, diseases. Oh, they're, they're robust. I don't know what it's about. I think it's like climate. Yeah. For Virginia, it matches wherever in Japan these are originating. That'll go about two pounds right there. Two, two and a half. Okay. That's 20 minutes. Mm. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you. Yeah, man, man. <laughs> My, yeah. <laughs> and this is like what they say, low hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. the, real thing, the good ones are right at the top. Yeah. That's the that's, the that's when it gets all the sunlight. So I ain't even gonna sweat it. I'm gonna just get these. Little ones right here. And uh, find another day. Yeah. Where I can bring the ladder and some tools that we can get in there. Put some underneath the tree and shake that bitch. <laughs> Let that shit fall. I don't think you want that one. I look about what 35 40 pounds. You try it quickly. Uh -uh. With my legs. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm thinking about 50. That's like 50 pounds, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Picking pears at George Wolf High School. Tree was planted 10 years ago. Two trees that we planted 10 years ago. And as you can see, it's flush with pears. We ain't did nothing. Just let it do what it's gonna do. And you know, we could do way more than this. This is just scratching the surface. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> <laughs> we off to see the wizard. <laughs> look, look, look. Oh God, man. Yeah. That's every year. Like I said, it's so heavy that the branches are, are being pulled down. What else do you have for the um, for the uh, market tonight? Um, we got habanero peppers, uh, purple peppers, white peppers, uh, or lilac bells. Got um, 
eggplant, potatoes, squash, um, what else? Uh, pears? <laughs> pears. Um, yeah, and that's it. Like this time, that's it. This time. We got a couple different varieties of peppers. Oh, some okra. It's probably a little tough, but it's edible. You can just you gotta like uh, stew it down. Like where you cook it. Um, oh, collard greens. Mm. Got a, a lot of collard greens. Yeah. Habaneros. Oh, and tomatoes. Oh yeah. These are the pepsi, these are the pears that I got. Those two mm. They remind me of those Jamaican tank tops. So yeah, man, that's that's the work. I'm gonna give you these flyers. And oh, then, uh, I'm sorry. 